All right, all right, all right. So, wholesalers, if you are on the same situation as me, then you know we have a seven, five to seven hundred word essay to do. So, uh, the topic I chose. Let me go over here. What is streaming killing the radio star? That was the first um, article that I had to read in this. And then the next one that I read was, I had to read basically two different um, articles on streaming. And uh, streaming is the uh, topic that I chose. And then one article was opposed to it. The other was uh, like, it was, you know, pros and cons kind of exercise. So, and this other one was from radioworld.com. How can streaming media benefit the radio? It was written by James Carless, April 15, 2019. And so we are here uh, today, which is when we have to bring everything together with our opinions and kind of give what we think uh, about. So I titled it and I, I wrote it in a blog style since that's what they asked for you to do it in a blog style or do it in a presentation. So this is me, Tony Stewart Jr., English Comp, The Sound of 2020 Through the Eyes of a 90s Baby. Where were you when you first held a portable cassette player? Did you have the al aluminum bendy headset with foam pads? Was it a bulky headset? I remember putting bread ties. Let me see. I remember putting uh, I bad aspect, so. I remember putting bread tire blah, bread ties wire. Yeah, nope, take this off. There we go. Where were you when you first held a portable cassette player? Did you have the aluminum bendy headset with foam pads? Was it the bulky headset? I remember. I remember putting bread tie wires in the tapes and recording my favorite songs from the radio. When Sony introduced the first compact CD player in October of 1982, it retailed for $900. Anti-skip technology was introduced in the 90s and that's what made the portable CD players trendy. Now we live in a time where music exists on an app that you can touch on a screen. The apps have all the genres and if you also tolerate and if you can also tolerate the ads, most of it's free. We can what can we expect for the future of audio entertainment? And the, is FM radio on the brinks of extinction? The idea the FM radio is dying is partially true, and that would merely be the FM side of it. The frequency is just being redirected from towers to satellites. Saying radio stations are dying out is a very poor excuse. It would be the studio's fault for not adapting to the times if they do die out. It would be the studio's fault for not adapting to the times. Come if they do die out. There will always be hot topics politically, socially, religiously, and in so many more ways. The talking portions of the radio show most captive, uh, the talking portions of the radio show must captivate the listener, but it doesn't stop there. The radio station needs to upgrade the delivery services on groundbreaking levels to compete with the app monsters. Pandora and Spotify, just to name two streaming services. Just to name two streaming services offer, ad, okay. Pandora and Spotify, just to name two streaming services, comma, offer ad free listening. And that is a true game changer. Pandora offers users ad free listening for $4.99 a month after you get 30 days free, for free. And, uh, Pandora offers users ad-free listening for $4.99 a month after you get 30 days ad-free for free. That's a lot of free. At $9.99, Pandora allows you to create and share playlists as well as offer discounts for family plans, student plans, and military costs awesome. as well. Oh, let me say that again. At $9.99, Pandora allows you to create and share playlists as well as offer discounts for family plans, student plans, and military. That monthly subscription comes with a 60 two month free trial. They figured out how to sell free. Radio stations are still being listened to. There are plenty of apps which broadcast stations you cannot normally pick up, such as the iHeartRadio application. This app costs $9.99 to get exactly what Pandora does for $4.99. If you want an unlimited access to ad free music, Pandora wins. iHeartRadio does. Boom. Oh, forgot the O. iHeartRadio does not promise in any way that their plans are ad free. 
The $9.99 plan for iHeartRadio is only a 30-day free trial. Pandora shows you their prices right away. I did not find the price on iHeartRadio's main sign-up page. I had to type the question, how much is iHeartRadio all access cost? Into their FAQs page, search engine, and got my results that way. Now, I have semicolons in some of this, so. And that's a big, that's playing like a huge role in our grades, too. It's where we put our commas, our periods, where we cut a sentence off. You know, try not to have run on sentences. It is not the streaming that is causing trouble for radio stations. It's the lack of innovation and their unwillingness to at least price match their competitors. At least price match the competitor. Let's stop asking, is streaming killing the radio star? Can streaming benefit radio stations? They absolutely can. Are they going to make the radio station hotter, more popular, or anything close in nature? Not really. The popularity contest starts and ends with what the airways are filled with by the DJ and the host. The hosts make the show. Perhaps radio stations should have three-hour playlists and do 30-minute talk segments. There we go. The fact that ad-free services exist proves there is a demographic for people unattracted to advertising. It seems that radio stations don't mind having hours on end yelling competitions on debates, followed by traffic updates and local school news, followed by 10 minutes of advertisements, followed by introducing the DJ by name and what station you're listening to, followed by another five minutes of, of short talk just to hear three or five songs. Then it all starts over again just to get to that 10, just to get to that hot 10. There we go. Uh, I'll take the question mark out because it's not a question, even though I'm saying it in that kind of way. Just to get to the top 10 countdown, 2020 is approaching. We don't have to live like that anymore. We haven't had to since streaming has come into the game. With YouTube and other visual tycoons to entertain the youth, it's no guarantee that we will ever go back to the FM dial. Not only is there no need, there are more choices than ever before in humankind's history as to in the... Uh, hold on. Not only is there no need, there is there are more choices than ever before in humankind's history. When it comes, there we go. So let me say it like this: Ooh. We don't have to live like that anymore. We haven't had to since streaming has come into the game. With YouTube and other visual tycoons to entertain the youth, it's no guarantee that we'll ever go back to the FM dial. Not only is there no need, there are more choices than ever before in humankind's history when it comes to music stations. And the number of new stations on the streaming platforms keep growing. Uh, okay. Okay. FM dial. Not only is there no need, there are more choices than ever before in humankind's history when it comes to music stations. And the number of new stations on streaming platforms keep going by the way. Now, let me go back to the FM dial. Not only is it I need to take that in and put that with a but. All right, the stations, comma, but let's see how this rolls out now. It seems that radio stations don't mind having hours on and yellow competition on debates, followed by traffic updates and local school news, followed by 10 minutes of advertisements, followed by introducing the DJ by name and what station you're listening to, followed by another five minutes short talk just to hear three or five songs. Then it all starts over again, just to get to the to that top 10 countdown. 2020 is approaching. We don't have to live like that anymore. We haven't had to since streaming has come into the game. With YouTube and other visual tycoons to entertain the youth, it's no guarantees that we will ever go back to the FM dial. Not only is there no need, there are more choices than ever before in humankind's history when it comes to music stations. But the number of new stations on the streaming platforms keeps growing by the week. It is not the listener's job to keep listening to the radio station, more or less the radio station's obligation to playing what we want to hear. And then I have my sites, Radio World, 
uh, pros of streaming. The Guardian is streaming, killing the radio star. Cons of streaming. 786. I'm still under 800 words. That's what I have. I have the links to the radio world, the links to the Guardian, portable CD players where I got my facts there, Pandora, their actual website and sign up, and the iHeartRadio sign up. What I will say is kind of shady about iHeartRadio, I'm going to their site right now, is they don't tell you how much it costs. It says, take the Heart Radio listening experience to a new level. I did not know that it was powered by Napster, which is pretty cool because Napster was like, Napster's older than LimeWire. So I, I remember I lived on Manoa Drive when Napster came out. So take the iHeartRadio listening experience, new level powered by Napster. Uh, then they show you that Plus gives you play any song, unlimited skips, save songs from radios to your playlist, instantly replay songs from the radio, and listen, and that's it. That's all you get for Plus. And all access is everything I just said, plus listen offline, unlimited access to millions of songs. So Plus gets you unlimited skips. All access gives you unlimited songs. You don't even get unlimited songs. You get unlimited songs with Pandora. You get unlimited songs with Spotify. Um, and then on top, and then here at the bottom, it just gives you like a Facebook contact, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, it's for our already. Nowhere on here is there the price, you know? And then there's two buttons. There's a blue button that says start free 30-day trial. And then there's a purple one that says start free 30-day trial uh, in purple. Um, and so purple is all access plus is uh, the blue or all access is the more expensive one is what I'm saying. So I'm just going to click on start 30 day trial music and radio on demand. Please log in first. Don't have an account sign up. And it's one and, it, and what you're signing up for immediately. I'm not even going to make a thing. It's not even telling you how much it costs. Nowhere. It's just two buttons. Start free 30 day trial for regular or start free 30 day trial for um, all access. That's. Man, that's, uh, that's, that's suspect as hell. Pandora right here. Choose how you want to listen. Pandora Plus, $4.99. Pandora Premium, $9.99. And everything that you get is right there. Discount premiums on family, student, and military. I'm a student. I'm going to click on student right here. $4.99 a month. You get, the, you get everything that they said for $4.99. Are you serious? I might do that. And you get the 60-day free. Like, they have the radio beat by landslide. And I don't understand why the radio is being like all the all the things that's really changed is the delivery method. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting ready to uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, let me see here. Uh 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 uh. All right, let's go to the rubric real quick. It, it, I don't see on here where it wants me to save it a certain way, though, but I'm going to. So let's go to episode school. Let's go with this. So let me see here. All right, so blog post. Your blog post uh, should have engaging tone. Your blog post should be followed to the 800 words. It should be clear based on your writing, who your target audience is. Are you writing to the gaming community? Perhaps your blog post. Okay, your blog post can be uploaded as a Word document. There we go. And your blog post must contain APA citations. And I've got that. So completion, we're going to go here, go to documents. That's my school folder. Let's rename that. Um, go here and go to documents. Because I don't like the way that says it. Rename, 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 rename. File and save as.
we have submitted it. Boom. Submit it. Submitted it. Submitted it. We have submitted it. God afford it to budge. All right. Hmm. What's going on here? <sighs> I'm not doing that right now. God dang it. I don't want to do that right now. Implement the resources writing process, which includes organizing, drafting, revising, and editing to apply. What's going on here? As you progress through in the liberal student in the liberal study classes, you will practice this completely by reflecting on what you've learned in this class. Instructions using a rise model. Ah, the rise model has been with us since the beginning of class. So, little key note there: if you're just starting out in game design, pay very close attention to your rise model i'm in english composition one right now this is literally i've been in school for a year and i have yet to actually upload my one year in school video we'll be working on that tonight guys but um i guess i can say you know the rise model still being used like so pay attention to it um so although the reflection essay is somewhat informal, you are still expected to abide by the college of wide design lines. Uh, that is to include an induction, a conclusion, to organize your answers to the paragraph. What did you expect from the English composition course? How confident were you in writing abilities? How did you write the things for your assignment? How well? I think I can knock this out. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and knock that one out, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and be live again later. Um, I basically hold oh, what was up, Lisa. Martin, I work for digital cinematography. What's up? Welcome to the channel. This is University of Education. I am a full sales student for game design. Also, I have that headset. Any good games you could play on it? Are we talking about this right here? Do you see the dust that's collected on it? That's bad. Ain't it? Hold on. Shame, ain't it? So, how's that headset? I'll tell you this. Um, I haven't played any games on it because here's the, here's the sad part. It's not wireless. I actually have to plug it into my um, computer. And I know that's, that sounds like so. I don't have the biggest desk. So like literally right here, you can't see it. But my external hard drive is right here. My second screen is right here. Um, and then my laptop is right. I don't have a lot of room, so I have to invest in a desk. You know, as I grow as a programmer, my desk will grow, but we haven't got there yet. Um, so what can I tell you about that? I, uh, my, I have an unboxing video with that headset. I don't know if you've watched that one yet. Yes. Okay. Um... Which what's the username and all that? Because I, I try to reply to every did I did I reply? Ask well can you, just ask it now and I'll answer it. But I do want to know on which platform because I try my best to answer on my phone goes goes off like all the time. But ask away on the refund check, especially because it's live. It was about the refund. Uh, uh, ref it's not a refund. It's a. Re uh, it's uh. Oh God! It's a living expense check. It's not a. Re it's no way is it a refund because you. I definitely have to pay it back. I don't want to stay on the chat. Let me go look at my screen real quick. Okay. Now I do know this. Your GPA. Oh, I don't want to say I know this because I don't want to say I know for a fact. Based on the conversation that I had with the school, it would appear or it sounded to me as if my GPA plays a role on whether or not I'll get that check. Does that make sense? I want to say if I fall below like a 2.1, because I even got an email notification uh, from Mahalo talking about it. Um, so, yeah, while you're looking through, please tell me which... Um, which which social media site you messaged me on so I can actually go and look because I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to go on Instagram right now. We're going. I don't know what's going to pop up. So if, if any of you people have posted something you didn't want to post, who's this? I don't know. Okay. Um, if anybody posted something they didn't want to post, 
You get what I'm saying? You didn't want everybody seeing it. Um, which, well, what is, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm all the way back in, where is this, October 13th, I'm looking at a message from October 13th, but, uh, okay, hold on, I'm gonna go look, I was on Instagram just now, mm -mm 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 -mm. ow. I don't get a crap ton. Okay. Do you know what you said? No, nah, I'm looking. You know what? I'm just going to search you real quick and then go to our messages and see if it's there. So it's blank. You didn't send it to me on in on on Twitter because it's a white screen. But I do see that I'm following you back right now. I didn't. I see that, so I just followed you back. But we we haven't had a conversation on. You might how did you tweet me? Let me see. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm looking on your Twitter right now. I'm looking at a. Uh, I just want a six star Dragon Ball in the arcade. That's pretty dope. <laughs> All right, I'll wait for you. <laughs> so the only other thing I really got left to do today, right? Go into my concert. I got a little weak one. I can retake this practice grammar check. God dang it, man. One, two, three, four, five. I missed five questions completely on this. That was you. Oh shit, word. What? Huh. I gotta figure that out real quick. Dang, yo, that's scary as hell. Huh. He was not kidding, bro. Okay. Um oh, shit. What? Oh my god. And I know that video has retarded amount of views. What part of it? Is it at the beginning? This is this is a sixteen minute video. Yeah. Hold on real quick. 
Like, what? That's nuts. Okay, hold on, right there. Yo, you know what? I ain't even thought about that. I mean, I do, but I... Not right there. Holy cow. Yo, that's... God dang, I'm slipping. <laughs> 